Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. It is a wonderful thing to know today that you and I are dead to sin and alive to God. That is what Romans chapter 6 teaches us. And we just began yesterday in the Morning Mindset edition of the Live, Build, Change podcast to walk through Paul's teaching about what it means to be dead to sin and alive to God. And he says that baptism, which we undergo after we've placed our faith in Christ, represents a deeper spiritual reality of what happened to us when we placed our faith in Jesus Christ. We were buried with him, Paul says, into death. In order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. You see, our identification with Jesus in baptism is symbolic of the reality of how God identified us with Jesus when we placed our faith in him. And so that in some incredible, mysterious, really unexplainable way in human terms, we were connected with Jesus so that when he died on that cross, we died. And so that when he was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too were raised from the dead. And we were raised from the dead, he says in verse number four, that we too might walk in newness of life. We might have a new life. So that is really the mindset I want to focus on today. You and I, by virtue of our faith in Jesus Christ, have a new life. Say that to yourself right now. I have a new life. And understand, it's nothing you've done that has given you the new life. Nothing active or or effective that you've done. Jesus did it all. He died on the cross and he took you with him. He rose from the grave and he brought you out of the grave with him. And now he gives you new life, his life, because you were united with him in death and that you were united with him in his resurrection. See, Jesus did all the work. All you had to do was receive it. But the powerful thing is when you understand that you have a new life, And you can begin to believe it. That's really the key. I mean, it's one thing to have the knowledge in your head and to say, oh, yeah, 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 I believe that. But it's quite another to believe it on a deep level, on a soul level, maybe we should say, where it really impacts you. I would encourage you to get out a journal or to get out a piece of paper, something that can help you process this reality. And write out the phrase, I am dead to sin and alive to God, and I have a new life. And then begin writing everything you can think of about that statement. Everything that comes to mind about what that means for you, what implications it has in the way you go to work today, or in the way that you interact with your family What effect does it have on the kind of friend that you are or the things you do with your money? What kind of impact does it have on those nagging temptations that you struggle with over and over and over? What impact does it have that Jesus Christ, when he was raised from the dead, raised you as well and you shared with him in resurrection and he now has given you his new life? I'm here to tell you it it has a tremendous impact on you when you really believe it. But we often don't really believe it because we haven't taken the time to really think through the implications of what it means. We haven't really embraced it fully by understanding it fully. And so that's what writing or journaling about this can help you do. It can help you process, it can help you think, and it can help you internalize in a deeper way the truths of what Jesus has done for you and giving you a new life. I want to encourage you, find some time this week to do that, to take the time to write out and to flesh out in your own mind the truth of who you are in Jesus Christ. You are a person with a new life in Jesus Christ. What impact is that going to make on the way you live today? Join me tomorrow on the Morning Mindset edition of Live, Build, Change.